Hey guys, um, so I'm super uh, enjoying doing these video series and something that I've noticed coming up on the pages is people asking questions about clipping, how do we clip our goats, what blades, and etc. So I thought that would be a great topic to touch on. So let's first go over a few basic things, equipment. Um, you can use either a milking type stand like I have here or a blocking stand that has a different uh, type of head gate. The blocking stand has like a, a single arm that comes up and restrains the head. Um, or I'm just going to use my milk stand because that's what I have. And then we're going to need some clippers. Um, everybody always asks, what kind of clippers should I get? Well, if I was really rich and famous, I would buy the... <laughs> I would get uh, either a Lister Star or a um, Premier brand uh, clipper body. Uh, those are a little bit bigger than what I have here. Let me put my hand on it to show you. So this is a regular Andis, the AGC two-speed clipper. Um, I really love these clippers. I've actually had this specific pair of these Andises since I started in goats. So these clippers are like 10, like over 15, like 12, they're at least 12 years old uh, for sure because I got my first Alpines in 06, my first registered goats, and I showed them so I know I had clippers. So anyway, uh, I love these clippers. They have been dropped, beaten, taken apart. I've had repairs done, new cord put on. Um, love these clippers. They're light. They stay cool. Um, they have a quick release blade super really nice clippers okay um so there's those clippers the clipper body and some blades that are on it and then i have this i finally splurged and i bought a fancy box to keep all my blades in <laughs> and they all have different reasons and I keep multiple pairs of the same size for um, when I'm clipping that way if a blade gets hot I can switch it out um, and it also if you don't let your blades get hot they don't dull so if we can keep our blades cool you're gonna get longer life uh, 50 here is like surgical ultra surgical it's for like udders I rarely use a 50 on an udder Unless I'm at a big show like the state fair or nationals or something like that, I really got. If I'm at a club show, a 40 for an udder is more than sufficient. So general showing is a 40, um, but honestly what I do is I clip them with a 40, even if I'm like going to nationals or state fair, and then I razor with an actual um, like a chic razor. Uh, for bodies, um, during normal season of showing here, I'm in California, so this is um, going to be a different thing. But in California, I can use a 7 to do my first clip of the year. Um, if I have a black goat, or maybe it's a little cooler, or I want to just leave a little more hair, uh, the 5. So the thing to remember with clipper blades is the smaller the number, the longer it leaves the hair. So the higher the number, the shorter the hair. So a 50, obviously, is going to be no hair. And they do make a 4. Uh, they may make even lower than that, but I do. I, I want to get a 4 uh, to add to my lineup here. Anyway, um, let me. we also want to use a, a cool product here. I really like the Andis product because it actually uh, is a disinfectant. So we got to remember that our clippers can be fomites. So we want to make sure that we have something that we can disinfect. Um, if you don't have this, use rubbing alcohol on your blades if you're going between herds or something like that. Just remove as much hair as you can and, um, and then uh, do that. So let me go grab a goat and we'll get back to it. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see everything okay. And uh, here's my goat. So now I'm obviously, I'm really not going to do a show clipping video. However, I do want to illustrate a dairy clip. How do we prepare our goats um, like for kidding, um, to provide a, a clean milking, um, things like that, just to trim up the hair and how we do that and the way I find that it's the most aesthetically pleasing way to do it because, you know, I have to look at them so I want to make them look nice. So anyway, let me uh, see if I can get a better angle. 
Okay, I think that should be good. So, hold on one second, let me get some equipment. Something else I wanted to illustrate on the clippers, um, and I didn't know this for years until my clipper repairman actually showed, showed me. When you put a clipper blade on these, um, like Andis type clippers, you put the blade on that tongue. And then he said, you're supposed to turn it on first before slipping that clipper blade down. And that properly aligns the cutting blade and the cutter um, and I didn't know that and he said yeah you, it's a lot um, less damaging for your clippers to be put together this way so then I'm also going to show you how to apply the spray coolant so when you need to apply it you just take your spray hopefully you guys can see me okay here and just go like this right on the blades and you can kind of hear the change. I squirt it in here sometimes if they're really dirty. I also want to illustrate for a dairy clip, I'm just going to use my ruler. So for a dairy clip, this is a, the natural line for the dairy clip. So um, this gives you kind of just an illustration of from the pin bone to just about where in front of the udder, right about here that we would remove the hair. And I just wanted to lay that on there so you guys can see kind of the angle um, that we're gonna go for when we do this clip. So I typically start like kind of like this on the opposite side of the goat. And I just come in. I'm also using a five blade right now. Because I don't I don't want to take off a whole lot of hair, I just want to clean it up. So then you would come in on that leg, take all that leg hair off. Some like Toggenbergs and some Alpines get chaps. They call them chaps because they get real long feathery hair on their legs. Hopefully you guys can see okay. You just, um, when clipping a goat, this is something I also learned, um, totally different than dogs. You don't go with the hair, you always go against the hair. I had a couple grooming friends that, dog grooming friends that were having a hard time clipping and then they saw me clipping and they go, oh, no wonder I'm, I'm going the wrong way. So now the reason we take that leg hair off like that is just to help, um, especially like if we were milking from behind, or in a parlor situation, if you're spraying tea dip and whatnot on there, and it just helps to keep that uh, udder free of organic matter. So, oh yeah, good. You can see. My line that I've got going, I'm gonna come a little closer for the belly. Part. Okay. So we'll come in right on the flank and just do the same thing, just kind of go toward against the grain of the hair. Hopefully you guys can see okay. some more food. <coughs> Maybe she'll be more cooperative. <laughs> so this is the part they always don't like. So sometimes you need to just restrain. Sometimes it's easier to just pick the leg up ahead of time instead of letting them try to kick you. It's best to just pick the leg up and do what you need to do so there's not a lot of jerking or lurching around. I'm going to show how I trim my tails from the back. Maybe you could see it a bit better. So, 
shadow right there. Huh? There we go. So I just take my clippers and I hold it, I hold the tail, and then just come up along the side against the grain. I pull the tail gently forward, and then I just come up along here under the vulva a little bit, and then do the other side of the tail. Okay, so I've actually already kind of clipped her udder um, because I wanted to see what she was looking like. Um, and then you would just continue that on the other side. Um, and so that's a basic, simple dairy clip is what this is called. And if you guys like uh, this video and you found it useful, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm going to be posting some more videos as the season goes along. So thanks for watching and have fun prepping your doughs for kidding.